90% of American kids eat far too much salt, according to a new federal study, which says those kids are at risk for high blood pressure and heart disease. Here's Dr. John LaPook. At cafeterias, restaurants, and home, kids are piling on the salt. When I'm home doing homework, I usually eat a lot of chips, and I know chips is probably crazy with salt. That's my, that's my go-to food there. But that go-to food could lead to problems like high blood pressure. Already, one in nine children have it. The recommended daily limit for sodium ranges from 1,900 milligrams a day for younger kids to 2,300 a day for older ones. Today's study found adolescents consumed 55% more sodium than recommended. Even younger kids were way over the limit. If I had to pick anywhere in the world, my favorite food would be pizza. Pizza and Mexican food headed the top 10 list of sodium sources, but the salt was sprinkled throughout their entire diet. And of the 10, only milk had naturally occurring sodium. For the rest, salt was added during processing. More than half of sodium intake came from store-bought foods. Our little box here, four of the bagel bites, is going to be about 410 milligrams of sodium. Bridget Murphy is a dietitian at NYU Langone Medical Center. For example, one tablespoon of ketchup has 160 milligrams of sodium. That's more than a slice of bread. The CDC says it's important to limit the salt in children's diets because eating habits learned early tend to persist as we get older. It's easy to be intimidated by numbers on food labels, but if you remember, the daily sodium allowance is from 1,900 to 2,300 milligrams, depending upon your child's age. You can figure out how to spend those milligrams wisely. Dr. John LaPook, thanks, Doc.